Hello everyone, it's Koneko here, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my current doll collection and setup. Now, I'm definitely going for a maximalist and not a minimalist in this setup. I have a variety of dolls, Rainbow High, Shadow High, Bratz, mostly Monster High, LOL OMG, LOL Tweens, and this is the majority of my dolls in this room, but not even all of it. Any dolls that I thought fit a really pastel theme, I actually have in my other room, which is entirely pastel. I will show you those as well after I go through the dolls in this room. So this is the door coming into the room. We've got a closet and then we have a bare wall, more bare wall, and trust me, I want to fill it. <laughs> I don't know, I just love filling all the space that is available. <laughs> so we're gonna start right over here. Starting with this wall here, which is probably my most filled wall, we have the four main Bratz girls. These are re-release dolls and I framed one of the posters. They each came with one of these posters. Going down, we have wall grid from Amazon with various things. Then some more dolls. These are LOL OMG dolls. I love these gothic alternative styled dolls. Then continuing down, we have two of my Rochelle Goyle, Rochelle Goyle vinyl figure. And new to the collection, Catherine. Down here we have pin collection, stickers, handmade ears that I got from a convention, an Ida bag with some anime stuff, and some messy pile of plushies and such as well as more wall decor, mostly just Amazon finds, thrifted jewelry holder. If you want me to go into detail on my like charms and jewelry, I can definitely do that. This is more focused towards my dolls in this video. I've got some beach ghouls and, well, not beach ghouls, but <laughs> I need some more like shelves and like I have more dolls coming in as always so I'm constantly organizing like reorganizing stuff. I love to like kind of I don't know like once I think it's like complete do another video but I don't know if I'll if it will ever be complete because I'm always changing stuff but we got some Skull Shores and Gloom Beach going on here. Little sign. A couple dolls here that don't have Merlin! <laughs> Shh! Couple dolls here that uh, don't have a shelf space yet. We've got some Monster High jewelry. We have a couple Ghoulias here. OG Ghoulia, Vinyl Ghoulia, Vinyl Sir Hoots a lot, and a G3 Ghoulia that I restyled, but all I really did was put her in some black shiny pants and some buns. Some hair buns. <laughs> Got some mega blocks. Fantastic bedroom. And all these um, black and pink shelves are wooden shelves that I found at a thrift store. And I just re like I just painted them and uh, decorated them. There's another one up here. There's some stickers from Spirit Halloween, and we've got this lovely, it's actually just a coffin tray that I got from Michaels and I painted the trim and I just taped on a little Draculaura from one of the G3 boxes. <laughs> Elisa Bat, pre-production Draculaura, budget doll, G3 Draculaura, and Holiday Draculaura on a 3D printed floating shelf from Etsy. I'll get some links for uh, down below. And we have my beautiful Abbeys. Some OG, some dead tired vinyl figure. Might have to create her her own 
shelf soon. Then we have some LOL surprise tweens and like an itty bitty one there. Monster High, Mavis, Zombie, Hatchimal. <laughs> Then some of my favorite Draculoras that I think are like super fancy so they go with this fancy shelf I decorated and thrifted. <laughs> All the old OG dolls and vinyl figures for the most part I got through Facebook groups and Facebook pages. I think this vinyl and Sir Hoots a lot I did find on Amazon for a decent price but and then another like keychain holder. This one's gonna be centered around like vampires and Draculaura. I don't have many yet. Some more lights, some props working on and other things. And underneath where I had a lot of this jewelry are just a bunch of plushies. Again, I can make a separate video for that. We've got some LOL surprise babies, little hatchmoles, little painted a wooden box from the dollar store and another thrifted shelf with some stickers and details. Oh, this had fallen off. I'll fix that later. I still haven't put anything in this frame and I feel like it's out of place. Like the pink is too pink. I think when I do something for Rochelle Goyle, like I'm gonna have a shelf for her and hopefully get her collector doll. I'll probably have that by her because I feel like that's more of a Rochelle pink <laughs> than a Draculaura pink, if that makes sense. And then going up, Megan Bratz, Sweetheart and an OG style, like a newer version, not like the original. We've got Mavis, we've got a Monster High Locker, and we have Elizabeth here with her little tray. And that's like a random LOL surprise thing of popcorn. <laughs> And then the top shelf on this wall is some Shadow High and the twins. And then, oh my god, there's an empty space. Don't, <laughs> don't look at it. <laughs> so on this shelf here, there's some Nightmare Before Christmas ornaments. Sally keeps falling over. We've got this Coraline doll and some LOL Surprise Babies. And I have a couple other things on the wall. Lots of bags. I love collecting bags. And then this awesome setup here. So there's the Haunt Couture Claudine and her box. I only have one so that's an empty box. OG Claudine in real drama with the poster and um, I was painting the edge of these shelves but the purple didn't stand out very well on top of the black so I'll be redoing that. Then we have real drama Frankie, voltage Frankie and G3 Frankie including some vinyls and a mini and the poster, box art, these are just frames from Walmart, shelves from Dollarama. Then we have Draculaura, since I have the uh, creep production on the other wall, I put Love Bites right there, Real Drama, G3, G3 is in her, the outfit she came in, but I put her in pigtails, and we have a mini and some vinyls. Everybody comments on uh, this sign board, letter board, uh, I just got it off Amazon. And this isn't the Hot Topic bag, it's actually from an Instagram creator. Then we have Real Drama Laguna and Hong Couture Laguna, and hopefully I have a crew production uh, coming in soon. <laughs> and that's just her empty box up there, although I did get two of her. Those shelves are 3D printed from Etsy. Then we have Lenore, cute little dead girl corner, and a random collage of Halloween things that I got from Michaels, some ears, and props, and bags, and shoes, and a Nana surprise doll, more bags from Hot Topic. Then um, down here there's some new in box dolls. I have a full set of real drama new in box. <laughs> I'd love to figure out how to trade maybe my new inbox dolls for a Haunt Couture Draculaura <laughs> or Haunt Couture Frankie, but we shall see. We have 
the ghoul mobile for G3. Then we have some rock angels brats with their posters on the side here. Then we have a trio of G3 that I restyled in uh, Rainbow High, Shadow High doll outfits, including Shadow High Rainbow Vision props. Then we have the new Coffin Bean setup, G3 Laguna, G3 Cleo restyled in Rainbow High Shadow High outfits, another Gulia, the two pack, <laughs> he's back there and a budget doll Claudine. Then we have the Gorgonizer in the back there and the Creepover Party set. I found a pillow online and then I added a frilly trim and some felt that I painted to look like Draculaur's pillow. <laughs> oh my gosh, Merlin, you are in my way. His tail is hitting them. Oh my gosh, you're bright. So that is this shelf. Then if we go on the other side of this window, there is another bookcase. So above this bookcase, we have a bunch of Shadow High and Tiara here. Then we have some miscellaneous Monster High, some little books I found at Dollarama, Sanrio, Pop Vinyl, Na 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 surprise doll. Then we have Draculaura and her fashion locker here. I filled it with some random pieces that I've gotten through Facebook and Shadow High, Rainbow High items and G3 items. Then I have a couple dead tired ghouls here. Poster in the back and posters on the side. Just got through peeps on Facebook. <laughs> we have the old coffin bean set up, some more Monster High dolls and vinyls, LOL, OMG, and Draculaura's like bathroom set back there. Then some more Rainbow High, and a play set, and some empty boxes, shoes that I found on AliExpress, and then added some paint. Over here, there's a Monster High book bag, a bag full of, like, Monster high as clothes. This has a bunch of clothes in it that kind of remind me of different Monster High characters, <laughs> like Draculaura and Gulia. We have Sir Hoots a lot, plushie, little purse, my extra Honkatur Laguna. There's a bunch of empty boxes and a bag. <laughs> and an empty wall next to it that will hopefully soon be filled. Hello, Loki. Loki! Okay. I have one bare wall above my bed. I'm going to be doing something with this bed eventually <laughs> to kind of match the theme of this room. But yeah, this wall is quite bare, but I'm hopefully going to be adding some coffin shelves, other coffin decor, fill up this wall at some point. I mean, <laughs> I said that I changed stuff around so much and I'm here I am adding another shelf. <laughs> so I chose a light pink for Rochelle and what I like about these Dollarama shelves, besides being only a couple bucks, pretty easy to install, just a couple screws, is that if I want to switch where characters are but I have it, it's painted, it's color coded, they just, the this is just sitting there, um, it just slides right out and then I can like switch any ones that I want around. Yeah. <laughs> so here in my pastel room, we have mostly LOL OMG and LOL tweens. These pastel painted shelves were thrift finds that I painted and decorated. Monster High, Laguna, the can that I rinsed out. Supersonical figure, 
And then we have a bunch of LOL tweens at the top there. My Powerpuff Pop figures. Some more anime style figures. LOL Surprise Babies, another tween, some more pop figures, and little knickknacks, some Tokidoki and Sanrio, a little heart mirror. Above that are some Rainbow High dolls, so the Junior High and Rainbow High thrifted frame with card capture Sakura inside, thrifted shelf with some more tiny knickknacks, some art pieces that I've gotten at anime conventions, some na 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 surprise dolls and bag. Over on this bookshelf, I have some girls' night out brats. Jade and Chloe, Giant Mew pop figure, Rainbow High K-pop, some Sanrio dolls and other items, sparse looking shelf of LOL OMG and some Rainbow High. Then there's just some other collectible things, some anime figures, and it's kind of messy down there. Above my computer situation here, there's another Nana -na -na surprise doll and a lot of plushies. I'd love to know your thoughts on my current setup. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section below. If you'd like me to do more detailed videos on anything, please let me know that as well. I'd be more than happy to. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!